Good morning everyone. Welcome to another video off the beaten path. So today I'm going to be messing with the solar panels. Um, I'm just going to be moving them further forward and then I want to rotate them a bit to face like a southeast direction so more that direction. I want to catch the morning sun um, so I can start charging the batteries sooner or the one battery. We only have one battery right now um, and we're going to be getting a second battery. Um, we're slowly growing uh, our solar system here. So yeah, I'm going to be powering everything down. I got to disconnect a couple cables and stuff and then I'm going to use uh, the winch on the side by side and just drag these panels forward and this is the smaller one it's only two two panels so I'm going to put that one as far forward as I can okay and then we have the three panel array again just drag it over here and I'm going to leave enough room because I'm going to eventually build another three panel array we got three more panels um, to add to our system um and then i have some ideas for another little way to get some extra um, light into the panels but uh, i'll get into that in a little bit so let me get started i'm gonna start disconnecting everything and then um yeah we'll just keep moving forward Okay, so this is our setup for right now. Um, I built this, just this little stand. Uh, there's our inverter and the battery down here. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be getting a second battery for right here. And um, yeah, this is a the EG4. This can hold, I think, four kilowatts, um, which is about, what our panels will produce we ended up losing two panels um we had this like tornado thing come by and just pick them up and smash them down um but they still work that's <laughs> kind of funny um, i'm actually using it right now right here you can see it's all cracked and damaged but it's up there actually charging our anchor uh, solar battery pack um, so the panel still works but because it's all cracked it's prone to some issues and things like that so I don't want to add it to our uh, main uh, array okay so anyways I'm gonna get back I'm gonna power all this down disconnect everything we have the um, the solar disconnect right here I gotta disconnect some wires on the panel and um, slide, slide the panels forward. All right, that worked actually pretty well. A little bit. Better than I thought. Um, it's good to me. I think I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer, but this side is getting uh, kind of off the edge here. So I might just drag this in by hand, pull that side in a little bit, but it's actually facing the way I want it to, which was, you know, kind of that direction. Um, all right, let's move the, the three panel one.
I'd like to get into the sponsor of today's video, Signature Solar. Uh, they helped me design this little off-grid uh, solar setup that we have. Um, we also got all these bifacial panels through them. Um, great company. They got all kinds of different products, whether you're, you know, you're off-grid like us, on-grid, and want backup power, uh, stuff for RVs, uh, campers, uh, all, all types of solar products. Uh, they even have the anchor, uh, you know, solar generators and the coolers that we use. We've been using since we've been out here and they're great. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, so yeah, check them out. All right. Um, not bad. I think, I think this will work. This will definitely do what I want it to do. So in this area, the panels kind of need to be close together because this is where I connect the two arrays together is right here. And I don't know if you can see, but it's just the lead that comes off the panel. You know, I don't have no way to extend this so I can, you know, space them out a little bit further if I wanted to. Um, there's this kit um, on Amazon. Basically, so you can do your own MC4 connections and run your own cables however long you want them. <laughs> Look at this girl. Hey, what are you doing? Making a bed? <laughs> but um, yeah, that's that's something I've been wanting to order. It's um, it's actually on our Amazon wish list. If anyone out there would like to, you know, sponsor us and get that for me. I'd really appreciate it. But anyways, it's good. They're connected now. I just need to now reconnect the positive and negative, which this should be easy. Just run them back over here, screw everything back together, turn everything back on. And then I'm gonna get into the next part of trying to get as much out of these bifacial solar panels um, and basically what I want to do so right now I have them facing this is like a southeast direction you know kind of that way I don't know I don't have a compass but so I got them facing that way so hopefully the morning sun uh, will start hitting them sooner and then as the day goes on and the sun is setting that way what I want to do is put some type of reflective panel so the sun can come in this way and then bounce underneath the back side of the solar panel. And that's that's the benefit of these bifacial panels. They collect light on both sides of the panel. So I have some scrap material that I want to use. It's pretty shiny, so I think it'll work. So, but I'll get into that in a second. Let me uh, finish wiring this back up powering the system back up and um, then we'll move on to that stuff okay got the panels all hooked back up all the cables are secured now and now I'm gonna start powering everything up so I'm gonna start with the disconnect okay there we go inverter kicked on now I didn't turn this on yet but since it's getting the right amount of voltage, it turns on. Then there's an on button. Okay. Now the battery, on button. So what I love about pairing the EG4 products together is through this, um, or the ethernet cable, I believe. They communicate to each other, you know? Uh, so it's, it's pretty cool, I like it. So as we see here, right now you can see that the panels are getting power, charging the battery, and then it's converting it to AC, and then supplying power to, uh, well right now we have it connected to the trailer. Oh, which is keeping our refrigerators 
running constantly. So let's see what it's kind of pulling in here. So right now we're getting 1.66 kilowatts. So like 1600 kilowatts. It's not bad for five panels, you know? I think that's decent. Uh, so input for the battery is getting 1200. So the way I programmed this inverter is um, anything connected to the AC side is getting power from the panels first and um, anything left over then goes into the battery. And then also uh, like later on when the battery's at 100% it's pulling solely from the solar panels. So, and then you can have it set the other way around. Like if you want it to pull only from the batteries first, it'll do that. But I'd rather it just pull from the panels. To me, that's just, I just like that. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But it's very cool. I, I like this inverter. It's been working really well. Um, obviously it's just kind of exposed to the elements. Um, I plan to, you know, build some walls and put like a little door in the front and same for the battery down here. You know, I'm going to just build some, put some panels up right here. Um, just so it's not getting beat up by, by the elements. I mean, it's under the cabin, you know, we're underneath the cabin and it's obviously in the shade and it's protected from the rain and stuff because we have been getting uh, the monsoon rains and it's, it's been raining pretty good over here and the system's been fine uh, nothing has happened at all but it is very windy here and the dust and the dirt and also um, you know the bugs and the mice and things like that I don't want them messing with anything so in the future I'm gonna be enclosing this and just leaving it on on this little stand right here um, because we have so much work to do to the cabin um, I don't want to permanently mount it anywhere um, I like the fact that I can just kind of slide it around and move it it's you know semi mobile um, this is all like our, our gardening stuff you can see you know a bunch of bags of soil and, and things like that but I'm gonna eventually clear all this out clear these cabinets and put this kind of in the corner I'm also gonna put more siding um, or sheathing I should say um, along there to close up that gap again so if it's raining you know nothing's gonna get onto the equipment but for right now it's been fine uh, it's working and you know it works for us you doing Luna it's all right everything's powered back up I think I was only disconnected for about excuse me I was only disconnected for about I don't know 45 minutes or so so it's good I like it better over here now it's facing the direction I wanted it to be so it's good okay so I'm gonna go grab those panels I was talking about and I'm not gonna fully build that yet because um, I need to come up with a way to mount it that won't get blown away from the wind and then kind of pick the best time of day I'm thinking maybe around like three four o'clock in the afternoon um, to catch the Sun again as the Sun starts to set down over there I want to use these reflective panels to bounce the light the light to go underneath the panels um, so I'm gonna just show you what I have in mind and I only have some scrap material it's not like a full-on thing so let me jam over there and then I'll show you okay I'm back so what I have here are some little panels that came off of IBC totes. See, this is all like the packaging and the warning labels and stuff. So I wanna use the back side of this to, again, reflect the light to hit the back of this. 
and I only have a couple of them you know I think I have you know, six or seven of them um, and I plan to get more IBC totes and I believe each tote comes with two of these things and you can see it's you know it's bright it's shiny so the general idea again I'm not gonna fully build it out in this video um, but I want to kind of play with it later on this evening and again just see where the Sun is going and, and, and stuff like that but the general idea is to have these you know maybe mounted right here somewhere and angled to then again bounce the light underneath these panels and see if it gets um, you know more more wattage uh, essentially because you know as the Sun is going down and it's over there obviously the panels are going to be facing way over there and not a whole lot of light is going to be hitting it so the, the wattage just drops significantly so I'm hoping um, I can use these to then reflect the light. I've seen people, you know, on YouTube do all kinds of different things. I've seen people put like um, rocks, like white, um, like driveway rocks, and they put them all, you know, put them all down here. They just put a bunch of rocks, and and the idea is same same concept. The light comes down and reflects up. Um, I've seen people use that insulated. Uh, uh, what is it called? Like the, like a sun visor stuff, like the stuff you see on like car windshields, uh, that reflective stuff, and they'll like staple that to like uh, pieces of wood. Um, you know, just anything shiny that can reflect. I've just seen people do all kinds of different things. These are just what I have on hand. You know, I'm just being resourceful and using what I have. Um. <laughs> Hi, Luna. So yeah, that's kind of the general idea. Like again, I'm not gonna fully get into it in this video. Uh, it was more just pushing these panels back and doing that. I have a bunch of other things I need to handle today, but um, I'll obviously keep you guys posted on on how this works out. I just need to do a little bit more experimenting and figuring out a way to mount it. Um, so yeah.